The future of clean transportation is often seen as a battle between battery electric and halogen buses. Critics say that halogen is inefficient, costly, and unnecessary. Is that the whole story? Today, we're going to break down the fact and look at data from real-world deployments. It is true that battery electric bus have a higher energy efficiency when measured from grid to wheel. But is it really the important thing? Or do we really want to look at what is the operational efficiency of a bus? That's really what matters if you're a bus operator. One of the biggest limitations of battery electric buses is actually the charging time. During that time, the buses cannot operate. Halogen buses can be refueled in 10 to 15 minutes, depending on our halogen infrastructure. That means that buses can operate on multiple shifts, longer time, without having the operator to change the schedule of the routes. So that's important in order to maximize the asset utilization. So those buses, electric buses, are expensive. So we want to make sure they are on the road as much as possible. There are over 10,000 fuel electric buses deployed worldwide. Majority of them are in China. There are around 1,000 in South Korea, which is growing really fast in the deployment phase. And in Europe and North America, there are over 700 fuel cell electric buses operating through cities today. Out of those, 90% are powered by Ballard fuel cell engines. And those have demonstrated an availability of over 99% during the past 12 months. In 2024 alone, Ballard has received orders for 1,600 new fuel cell engines which are going to be integrated into fuel cell electric buses in North America and Europe. If battery electric buses were the only answer, so why do we see more and more cities growing the fleet of hydrogen buses? Maybe at the end of the day, theoretical, thermodynamic cycle, well to wheel efficiency, maybe it's not that important. What is important is operational efficiency. And real data from buses deployed in the street showing that fuel cell electric buses provide longer routes, faster refueling, high reliability, and very efficient hydrogen refueling infrastructure. So maybe at the end of the day, we need both in order to speed up the deployment of zero emission buses. Scaling up deployment of battery electric buses is not as simple as adding vehicle. You need also to scale up your charging infrastructure. Charger, more control of how you're going to manage all the charging at the same time, sometimes power substation, or even bringing more energy to the location of your depot. This could be challenging, and sometimes it might take years before you'll be able to get the right energy at your depot. For hydrogen buses, it's much simpler. Yes, at the beginning, you need to make an investment in the hydrogen infrastructure, hydrogen storage, and dispensing. But then, as you add more and more buses, you just need to add more dispensers if needed, but the same dispenser can be used by several buses over an hour time. It takes only 10 minutes to refill one bus. So with the scaling up of your deployment of zero emission buses, hydrogen infrastructure allow to provide a path to a faster and more cost-effective scaling up. Winter and cold weather present a unique challenge for battery electric buses. It has been noted that in those conditions, the battery will hold less energy. And you can see a reduction to 30 to 50% of the range of the battery electric bus in cold weather. This is not the case with hydrogen buses. Fuel cell can operate from minus 30 degree to 40 degree without any alteration of the performance of the vehicle. In addition, fuel cell deliver heat. So when integrated with the HVAC system, you can lower your energy consumption by using the heat generated from the fuel cell. Where in a battery electric bus, often in winter, you need to add a diesel heater in your vehicle. 
Is it really a zero emission bus anymore? Maybe not. Fuel cell bus is zero emission in every condition, in every weather. Public transportation is not about energy versus battery. It is about choosing the right vehicle for the right operation. For example, if you operate a transit buses in a city center, the lower speed, then battery electric buses are perfect. But if you are operating express line, bus with high frequency, longer routes, or in cities where the climate is really hot or really cold, hydrogen fuel cell buses will deliver more value to the operator. So at the end of the day, we really want the transit bus operator having access to both technology so they can choose the right vehicle for the right route. And deploying both battery electric and fuel cell electric buses enable a deeper, faster, or more cost-effective decarbonization of our public transportation network. Fuel cell electric buses are here, the deployment are growing, and they are delivering results.